Alrighty, you asked for it. Here's an excerpt of my book, Touch of Kindness. Darkness, cold, a prickly feeling on the back of my neck, like spiders crawling up my spine. I blink awake, still half asleep. Moving my head to get comfortable, I see a man sitting on the tree limb outside my window, staring at me with glowing eyes. I scream, falling off the book nook and landing hard on my arm. Alarm bells are going off in my head, so I barely feel the pain. I need to call the cops, or mom, or maybe I can shoo him off myself. But when I stand up prepared to yell my head off and start throwing things at him, he's gone. I lean over the edge of the window to peer into the yard below, thinking he hopped down when I woke up, but no one's there. A quick glance at my phone shows it's two in the morning. I stare around my room, my heart racing. Nothing's moving. Charlotte's sound asleep. She's holding the stuffed beaver Ziff one for me last year from the school carnival. I rub my eyes with a grimace. It must have been a waking nightmare. I've had them before, seeing rats crawl along the wall or a shadow beside my bed reaching for me. I had a lot after Dad left, hearing him call my name from downstairs and waking to find he was still gone. But this felt different. This felt all too real. I close the window and lock the latch before trying to go back to sleep, but I don't know why I bother. I toss and turn the rest of the night, still seeing that man watching me, those orange and yellow eyes glowing in the dark. That little excerpt is from chapter three of my book, Touch of Kindness. If you're interested, it is currently on Barnes & Noble for 25% off. Check it out.